breaking news. Five teens and now a 16 is also gone to the hospital injured after a shooting near a high school in Aurora. We're waiting for specific details on these teenagers injuries. We know they're linked to the shooting. The six teenager uh, drove himself or herself to the hospital with minor injuries. Uh, some good news is that Children's Hospital, which has three of the teenage victims from this shooting, tells us that those teenagers are stable. They have been reunited with their families. Aurora police are speaking for the first time about what happened today just outside of Aurora Central High School at Nome Park. Chief Vanessa Wilson. One of the public information officers for your police department. I want to let you know about an incident that uh, happened this afternoon about 1245 at Nome Park. which is about 1200 Nome Street, just north of Central High School. With me today is Chief Vanessa Wilson, V-A-N-E-S-S-A-W-I-L-S-O-N. -S -S She'll give you a, a quick briefing. Uh, we're going to put out a news release later this afternoon with uh, a little bit more details about today's incident. If you can save all the questions till the very end, uh, we'll try to answer them as best as possible. Chief. Um, thank you all for being here. Obviously, this is a very concerning uh, incident for for this city um, as well as for this nation. I think we're seeing it's a, a public health crisis really when we think about gun violence anymore. Um, I give you some information. If I don't have the, the answers for you, I will make sure that we follow up uh, with whatever that we have. What I can tell you, we have a large crime scene here behind us. We have many, many investigators out here. Uh, we have. Uh, individuals from our gang unit as well as Denver gangs has come out as well to assist us. Our major crimes unit will be leading this investigation. Uh, what I can tell you right now is I have six, uh, five juveniles and one adult uh, that has been shot. When I say adult, it's 18 year old. So if I think to all of us, that's still one of our kids. Um, so this is very concerning right now. I have one child in emergency surgery. I want to thank uh, the school resource officers that were first on scene and they applied life-saving measures in form of a tourniquet uh, for the individual that's in surgery now. Um, I've been in contact with Rico Munn, the superintendent of APS school. He wanted me to pass on that they will be sending information out to parents this evening. All six of our victims are Central High School students. I want to reiterate this did not happen on school grounds. It happened here at Nome Park and along the block of um, 12th 13th to 11th on Nome Street. We've recovered multiple rounds in different um, calibers. Uh, we do have suspects that are at large and we are working on information to try to gather information that we can get out to you on who exactly we're looking for. With that, I need the public's help. I need us all to be outraged by what happened here today and I need your help and please, you can remain anonymous, but if you know anything, if you have a ring camera that you would like to provide us, if, if you hear your kid mention something, anything that you can give us right now is important. The Crime Stoppers number is 720-913-STOP. Um, also, I want you to know that our, our, our program manager for youth violence prevention, Christina Amperon, they are creating right now, they're working with Denver and they're, they're trying to get a regional response for outreach support for these kids, as well as these families that have been victimized. Uh, once I leave here, I'm going to go to the hospital, hopefully connect with the victims' families. All the victims' parents have been notified, and I want you to ask all of you to keep them in your prayers. With that, I'll open it up for questions. Can you tell us how the victims are doing? So right now we're hearing that uh, they're non-life-threatening injuries, but obviously anyone that's shot with a weapon, a, a gunshot, is serious. So uh, we need lots of prayers, and I, again, I said one, one uh, child is in surgery. Is this a drive-by? Uh, my understanding is it was a drive-by shooting, as well as there may have been people on foot. Was there return fire from the kids that were at the park? We have no information that that occurred. We have, right now, we have that they are victims. Chief, can you say if the kids were on break or were they between classes in the park when this happened? You know, I'm not sure, sir, um, but they were not on school grounds. They were at the park. You said suspects, plural. Uh, do you have any sense of how many individuals might have fired? Um, we had some suspicions. Uh, some neighbors called in, they had seen people they thought were suspicious, so I would say multiple suspects. I don't have a number for you. With the units responding, do you believe this is gang violence and if these uh, minors were targeted? You know, we're still, it's still the early stages of this investigation, so we're going to, you know, not leave any rock uncovered. So we're going to look at all different angles. Again, we need help from the community. Um, I'm just thankful that the SROs were where they were at the time and that these kids hopefully are all going to come out of this uh, with their lives. Is there any vehicle description? 
Um, we have some vehicle descriptions I'm being asked at this point um, not to release that because we're not 100% sure. People called in what they thought was suspicious, so I'd hate to identify a vehicle um, that isn't involved. As to the violence at No Park, have you seen shootings here before? You know, I'm not sure of this year if we've had shootings here before at this exact park, but we can get you that information. As police chief, what is your gut response when you respond to something? Well, I can tell you when I got the call, my heart dropped. I think as many as, as most of you felt the exact same way. And I think enough is enough. And I think we need to come together as a community. This is a public health crisis. This is not all on law enforcement. We need to get out through to our kids and figure out a way to stop this. Is there a violence crisis in Aurora right now? Uh, there's a violence crisis across the nation right now. And so I think we all need to pay attention. People that live on this block express concerns about what they call shooting, regular shootings. Um, is there anything specific you are doing to address the violence here? So obviously we'll have heightened patrol in the area um, and we are just responding to calls as we possibly can. But the SROs, of course, um, usually patrol the areas within inside the school as, as well as around the school. Knowing that this involved students all from the same school, what does that do for your investigation? How does that Everything. Well, I'm hoping that there's kids out there that know why this happened, that know what the situation was, and can actually share information with us. Um, I'm sure that somebody out there knows something, and I need them to come forward. Chief, how do you feel about the first responder response to this incident? How would you summarize that? I couldn't be more proud of them. Um, they they saved a life today, and I, I want to applaud the men and women that showed up here today. Were all the victims gathered together? My understanding is they were at the park together, um, and some may have been walking back. I'm not 100% sure exactly, but it was all within this, this area that you see behind you. Was there one vehicle? Uh, there were multiple vehicles that people described as suspicious. Again, I don't want to point those vehicles out until we have more information. I'm hoping that we have rain camera so we can put those uh, visuals out to you all, and I ask your help to put those out when we have them, if we get them. Did the shootings occur from a fair distance, uh, given the level of injury? Was there, I mean, what would you estimate? I, uh, from the street to the park, uh, so from the middle of the street to the park, and as well as we have information there was a drive-by as well as people that may have been on foot. Can you expand the problems you're having and gather information from the community? Just generally, it seems like this, what, what are you facing and what would you, it's okay if you repeat yourself, what, would you, what do you want to see happen? Um, really what I need is for people to come forward. I know everyone nowadays have some sort of camera system. That would be very helpful in us to get some stills out of whether the suspects were wearing or what the vehicles that they were driving is out. Also, I just need you to talk to your kids and I need you to ask them to please come forward if they have information. Are you finding resistance to coming forward from people who know things? All the victims, from my understanding, are being very cooperative as well as their families. And so, again, I'm, you know, it's early on in the stages. We're still about two hours in, so we're, we're asking for all the help we can get. Um, no, ma'am. Uh, Central High School was put on lockdown, and right now they should be doing a, a controlled release for parents, and we have put that information out through tweets for, um, for parents to know. Where, where, where did they go? Where did they get taken hospital-wise? So local hospitals that are close in proximity here, um, we have, again, six victims. One self-transported, the rest were transported by ambulance. Sorry, just to be clear. Some of the shooters were in a car, but some might have been on foot. That's my understanding. Um, so, again, it's very preliminary, but any information you have, no matter how small, we need it, please. We just, we heard that Anschutz was locked down. Was that because of this incident? I'm not sure if that occurred, um, but we can get you that information. I don't believe Anschutz was on lockdown. Okay. Is this a uh, neighborhood or area prone to gang activity and gang violence? So I think that um, this area is, is a good place for people to live, and we have a lot of hardworking men and women that live here. And obviously the gang problem can go um, throughout any neighborhood. And but like I said, I'm not 100% sure this is gang related, so I hate to jump to that conclusion. We have two more questions. What's any the safe way to of any connection to other recent crimes, Chief? I'm sorry, sir. Any suspicion of any connections to any other recent crimes? I have been not told of any connections at this point, but again, we we have several uh, detectives out, and we'll be talking to our metro partners to see if there's anything like this. If this stems from an incident at school, are you considering this or classifying it as a school shooting? No, sir. Since it didn't happen on school grounds, thank God, um, that would have been, you know, more victims that were that could possibly have been injured. So I'm thankful for that. And um, again, I'm working closely with Rico Munn, the superintendent of APS, and we will make sure that the kids that come to school tomorrow feel safe. We'll have more officers here as well as um, counselors for them. One more on this weapon. Any, any 
any information on that type of weapon? Several different calibers is what I was told, um, so I don't have any, any further specifics. How can we safely classify the amount? Dozens of shots were fired here, or ten? I would say I would say there were multiple shots fired. Apologies for this already, but the, the suspects were high school students as well, or you don't know that? We do not know, sir. And once, like I said, if I can get people to send me uh, ring camera footage, uh, we're getting descriptions. We're going door to door to try and get people to describe what they thought was suspicious, and we'll get that information out to you. I appreciate you being here today. You're our partners in this, and, and we thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Like said, Drive by shooting has injured in, uh, six Aurora uh, Central High School students today who presumably were on break at Nome Park just across the street from the school. Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson describing what sounds like a pretty chaotic situation with the possibility of multiple shooters. And that's part of what we've learned now, not only that all six of those, uh, the victims today are actual students at Aurora Central High School, which was then placed on that secure perimeter, but now we're also talking about multiple suspects multiple guns as well, and uh, all too often on Mondays, we talk about what has become a regular violent weekend in and around Denver mm -hmm. and Aurora with gun violence, and today it's punctuated by this event uh, on a Monday afternoon. All students are expected to survive, according to the uh, police chief. Sounds like one is more severely injured than others. That student's uh, life was potentially saved by the application of a tourniquet there at the scene, and that student is now in emergency surgery. All the families have been notified. Every family has been reached out to. Aurora Central and uh, APS is handling the outreach to parents about uh, dismissal, about what's going to happen uh, tomorrow there. But we heard Chief Wilson when she was asked, does Aurora have a violence problem? That's what we're talking about. You know, we talk about what goes on on the weekend around here and people will say well does Denver have a problem well, yeah Denver's got a problem does Aurora have a problem Aurora has a problem and the chief said uh, America has a violence problem right now which is something that we've talked about that we've reported on in terms of the uptick in violent crime nationwide it's been two and a half hours since this shooting was first uh, reported since they first knew of it and now Aurora Central High School is going through a controlled release and there will be many students many teachers people who work there at Aurora Central who will have a story to tell about what they saw what they heard what did happen today at 1245. Our Mark Salinger is over there today. He is by Aurora Central High School with the latest from there. Mark. Yeah, Tom, all the students are being led out right now as we speak. I want to step out of the shot and uh, give you a better view. There are parents and students that are gathered around one of the entrances to the high school. They've been gathered here for several hours. I've been speaking with some of them who say that they have been through what far too many parents in this country have been through over the past several years, and that's getting a text, a text from their students, from their kids inside the school saying, we're on lockdown, we've heard that there's a shooter. This time today, it was outside of the high school, but that didn't stop the panic from going inside. They were on lockdown from se for several hours today as parents gathered here outside the high school as soon as they could to try and get a hold of their students. Now, just a couple of minutes ago, the release of the students began here as they let them out slowly in several groups. Again, the high school has been on lockdown for several hours as the shooting happened across the street at a park nearby. Now, some of the parents that I talked to today described getting those texts from their students saying, hey, we heard that there's a high school, we heard that there's a shooting outside, we don't know yet what's going on, and they came here as soon as they could. They said that they weren't really notified by the school system as to what was going on, they just got here as quickly as they could. They heard from media reports, they heard from their students texting them that they were on lockdown, and they were inside the school, those students, for several hours as everything was going on outside. Their Parents weren't able to get a hold of them or see them or give them a hug up until just a couple of minutes ago when they were all reunited with their families. Of course, this will go on for the next uh, several minutes here as they, get, they uh, begin to let out the students in controlled groups. And from there, they'll reunite with their families. Of course, those sit students uh, that are at the hospital. The hospital is just a stone's throw away. You can see the UC Health and Children's Hospital from the parking lot of the school from the main entrance. It's that close to where the shooting happened to where the hospital went to. And of course, as those kids recover, now the parents of those who were inside the school are being reunited with their kids. Well, the story Guys. now will unfold both as the, the victims, their classmates in their school respond to this and also Aurora police now trying to find out what did happen, who's responsible for this and, and how they go about pursuing that. Mark, thank you very much.
there was a witness there on the scene who told our Noel Bren he thought there were 30 to 50 shots fired. Um, we're talking about the possibility of multiple cars involved in the drive by multiple people on foot potentially involved as well. It sounded like from what Chief Wilson was saying, they've got a lead on a couple of cars, but she said that she didn't want to blast it out there until they were sure. So that's the reason why there's that appeal right now to the public to check any security camera footage that they might have anything suspicious because the Aurora police want to be able to put out some good pictures of these various vehicles. Uh, there's going to be chatter in the community about this, and it's clear that Aurora police are hoping that people will be cooperative and will come forward with information as they have it. As the chief said, nothing is too small. The number for Crime Stopper 720-913-STOP, 720-913-STOP. That's where people can leave anonymous information. A lot of information is coming in. Uh, we will have much more of that for you throughout the afternoon at 4 o'clock, at 5 o'clock, and throughout the day at 9news.com. So uh, hopefully we'll have uh, more information for you coming up in just a few minutes. We appreciate you uh, as we interrupted the Ellen Show, and we'll see you at 4 o'clock with more. Thanks.